I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to sail her by. And the wheels kick and the wind's song and the white sail shaking and a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking. Hello. Have a listen. Can you hear that noise? Now, what do you think that reminds you of? Well, it sounds, sounds as if I could be by the sea. I think it reminds me of waves breaking on the shore. Not sea waves. Seashells. Hello. Got these seashells swishing about in a metal tray to make the sound of the sea. We've got some more shells here to do something else with shells. I've painted a shape on this piece of paper and I'm going to use bits and pieces of shells that you can find on the beach, broken bits and whole shells, to decorate it and turn it into a picture. See if you can guess what it's going to be. Right. Uh, first thing I need is a round eye-shaped shell. That looks like a nice one. Nice coily sea snail shell there. That's going to be an eye. And see, sometimes you don't get whole shells, you get broken bits of shell that have been rounded out by the sea, rubbing them. Put that one there. And another broken bit of shell, we'll put that there. And I want one more fan shaped shell. That's a nice one. Put that one at the back. That's to be a tail. Have you guess what it is yet? Just. Oh, yeah, there's a mouth there, and bloop, bloop, some round bubbles there. It's a bright fish. I'm going to make another shape over here. I've got some more bits of paper. I've got a dark blue one here. That's going to be the sea. And I've got a light blue piece behind it. That's going to be the sky. And I've got this bit of paper that I've just torn, and I'm going to tuck that in there, and that's going to be the land. Because if you go down to the beach and you find lots of shells, you don't need to, to paint a shape or a pattern. You could just use a stick or, or your finger and just draw a pattern in the sand and then decorate that with shells. There you go. See if you can guess what this is going to be. It's something else you see if you go down to the seaside. I'm going to use these old lolly sticks and a few more odd shaped shells. There you go. Lolly sticks on there. And some more. And if that might give you a clue. These are them, some lights. And use these cone shaped shells to put on along there. It's going to be a sort of fence or railing. Have you guessed what it is yet? And a couple more odd shaped shells there. Yeah, and you can just go mad then putting on shells for windows and lights and things because it's a picture of a pier which is like a big house or a boat that sticks out of the sea on legs. There it is, that's a lot longer than my pier. Can you see it sitting on its metal legs? There are lots of things to do and see and eat and play on, on a pier. And these children have gone to the seaside for a day and they're going into the pier. You have to go through a thing called a turnstile. It turns to let you in. I can take the place. Thank you. There are deck chairs so you can just sit on the pier and sit in the sun. There are gaps between the wooden planks. If you look through. Can you see the sea? Yes, you can. You can see the sea way down below. Ah, 
And there's one of the things you can play on. Perhaps you've been on a Helter Skelter, perhaps you haven't. It's a big, tall tower with a slide around the outside. You have to climb all the way to the top and you take a mat with you. A long, long climb all the way up the stairs. But it's worth it in the end, because when you get to the top, you put your mat on the slide, you sit on it, and down you go. All the way down to the bottom. Whoa. And as a last treat, there's something you can eat on a pier. A stick of candy floss. Like a huge, pink, sugary cloud on a stick. There you are, Humpty. Some cotton wool candy floss for you. Now, Jemima, Jemima's got some tissue paper strawberries with some cotton wool cream. Poppy, Poppy's got uh, some ice cream made out of paper and cotton wool. Now, Big Ted, he's got a, a kitchen roll rock that's painted nice and brightly. And there's only little Ted to go. So I'll just make little Ted an ice lolly. Now, to make one of those, just got a piece of paper, fold it in half. Got an orange piece of paper so you can have an orange flavoured ice lolly. And just draw a shape. You can draw any shape you want to. Got an art shape here. And then just cut around the shape. Now you have to fold the paper in half so that you get two sides. And the stick won't show. Right, leave that there. And the stick, well, I'm using an orange, a lolly stick here. Let's put that there. But if you haven't got one of these, perhaps you can use a, a piece of paper. Bit of glue. And on goes the other end. There. One orange lolly for little Ted. I think I'll just just borrow that, if I may, little Ted. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Nothing like a lolly. A lolly on a stick is a very nice thing to lick. Oh. A lolly on a stick is a very nice thing to lick. The first lick is good. The next lick is better, but the chunk on the end is the best. Mm. So get a lolly on a stick, it's a very nice thing to lick. <laughs>